So I've noticed my channel has gotten quite a few subscribers, and since I am, for once, home alone, I get the opportunity to do a little system test for you. This is my Notifier NBG12LX. It is connected to the SLC on my Notifier NFS2640. And you can see that this is on loop two. I'm utilizing both loops just because, well, I can. Not because I need to or anything. It's just a small demo system. Up here I have an SPSRL, which this system is doing voice evacuation as opposed to the um, March time tone that you heard the last time that I utilized a speaker on this system, or at least on this panel, which was at this point probably over a year ago. Over here, I have a notifier FSP 851, just a standard photoelectric smoke detector. Works like a charm still. Here's the notifier NFS 2640. Now, unfortunately, the ACM 24AT is busted, so I can't use that at the moment. I'll have to get a replacement at some point. AMG1 is still connected and working good as ever, and the LCD80 TM is not in use either. It's just there for show to, actually it's acting as a cover plate at the moment, so that's really all there is to it. So let's go ahead and open up the panel. And we will remove our microphone here. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? We are now testing the life safety system. Please disregard all audible and visual signals until further notice. Thank you for your cooperation, and have a great day. All right, let's hit it. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire emergency reporting in the building. Please leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevators. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire emergency reporting in the building. Please leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevators. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire emergency reported in the building. Please leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevators. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire emergency reported in the building. Please leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevators. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire emergency reported in the building. Please leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevators. This relay is now turned off, or this control module, rather. This is the control module for the speaker circuit. And the way this works is there is an amplifier behind this side of the second bay. The AMG is right here, amplifier is over here, and the amplifier outs outputs a class A audio signal that can be run through control modules. And the panel is programmed to activate the control module um, in the event of an alarm as an audible circuit. And that's how you supervise the audio in and of itself, um, which is pretty neat, I think. These two modules, one of them is a monitor module, and I believe this one is a relay module. Um, neither of them are doing anything right now. They're just dead weight in the system. I just think they kind of look cool stacked up over here. So I put them there in case I ever decide to use them for whatever reason. Let's go ahead and reset the pull station. And we'll take this magnet that I have attached to the side of the panel which I can use to test this detector.
and it does take a second. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire emergency reported in the building. Please leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevator. May I have your attention, please? Let's turn the lights May back I have on. your attention, please? There has been a fire emergency reported in the building. It's not particularly loud. Doing a little test to see how far the audio carries. You can hear it pretty clearly too, but it's not loud. Unfortunately, this particular voice evacuation system doesn't play a tone before it plays the evac message. I kind of wish it did. I may see if I can do something with a VRAM chip if I can find one. But currently I have a VRAM one side and one in there. Alright, and silence that, and since this doesn't need to be reset manually, you can reset the system. And if I so like, I believe I can do a drill. No, I have to wait for system initialization. Okay, I see how it is. Well, unfortunately with being at college, I don't get much time to A, be home, and B, home alone, much less. So I live on campus and therefore I'm not home very, very much consequently. But to finish out the video today, we'll do a quick drill. You can see that the system does have a priority for fire over the emergency tone. So since I pulled the pulse station during a fire drill, it switched over to the fire alarm message as opposed to staying on the emergency whoop. I kind of wish it did that emergency whoop before the message, but that is neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and reset the system and we'll call it a day. So we'll acknowledge that and I will see you guys in the next video, whenever that will be.